So Alex just noticed that the Dune Awakening Survive trailer is out. This is a new survival game. Now, we recently did a reaction to the Terminator Survivors game called Terminator Survivors. A little disappointed to learn that that license properly only seems to have one Terminator coming after you. We'll see. Maybe. I'm still encouraged. <laughs> that was my number one. We'll see if Dune Awakening, another licensed uh, uh, survival game IP, maybe can jump it. Okay, here we go. Let's watch it together, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Arrakis is a test. Arrakis. The spice. Perfect sandbox. Must fl ah. Desert. Very so clever. Like their Conan game, right? Then they, they, yeah. they published a Conan game. They know how to do desert. Okay. Caverns. Do we have to do the walk? We got to do the walk. Planet the sand walk. walking. No, we talked about in our idea. new show. He's running. <laughs> That's why Worm's chasing him. Good. Worm design slightly different Looks than like the. Looks Denis like Villeneuve. Tremors. Harvesting. Uh, was that teleporting? This is resource creation. Oh, there are some vehicles already to get around quicker. I like Starfield. the vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet designs that seem inspired from the film and the books, obviously. Ooh, Hunter Seekers. Whoa, there's Hunter. What the hell? There's last guns. There, there's a lot more environment variety than I thought. The graphics are pretty good. Oh, Ornicopters. Whoa. Uh, my eyes glow blue. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, Alex, make me that. I'm gonna have such a big base. Whoa. No fucking way. You do not show me that much war and chaos. If that doesn't happen in the game, yes! The Arrakis is a test. Survive it. Holy shit! Is that like a Harkonnen redesign, maybe? Awaken. Still suits. Awaken! 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 That was fucking awesome. This looks good. The Dune Open World Survival MMO. Uh oh. I don't like that last part. Bro, this just jumped. It looked good. Though. This jumped a Terminator yeah, for me instantly. Same. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, Terminators, like one Terminator chasing you, maybe spider butts. Joe, it's, oh, it's early in the conflict. Shut the fuck up. There they I wanted more future war Terminator than the the current day traveling, time traveling stuff. Nah, you know. Uh so anyways, but maybe we'll get some of that end stuff and end game later on in that game. But this game According to this trailer, okay, you really, this is how, you, number one, this is how you get somebody excited. Yes. This is a night and day difference from that Terminator Survivors trailer to this trailer. That was fucking awesome. It looks like there are massive battles. I don't want to say massive. It looks like there are good-sized battles. And if you teased a good-sized battle, that better be able to happen in the game. We'll look at it again. But, Alex, my man, what do you think? Uh, I'm a big fan of Dune. Yes. And I played a whole lot of Conan. I mean, like, over 400 hours uh, of Conan. So you can have a... They've got a decent building system. They constantly learn from their mistakes as far as, like, quality of life stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that this game is going to have learned and, you know, is going mm -hmm. to use that knowledge, unlike some of the other survival games. Yes. Just refuse to acknowledge the, the you know, the changes <laughs> in game systems that other people have done. So, yep. like, I think this one's going to be probably pretty, pretty good from the start. Yeah. I'm curious to see, like, how much... You know, it's hard because Arrakis Dune is sand. sand. And it's like, is that going to be interesting? Is going to be it, is traveling the world going to be interesting enough? Because at least in Conan, you're like going through different biomes and stuff. But as long as they make the world interesting, I think this could be really good. Yeah, yeah I'm also liking why... all the tech that they're using yeah. as well. We'll like... get to that. The reason why Alex brings up Conan is because this is from the developer. They've done Conan RTSs. They've done the Conan survival game. So, uh, it Exiles. So, I mean, this is not their first rodeo in terms of survival yeah. games. So, that encourages us that, number one, they're not going to make some of the same mistakes that they may have already 
stumbled upon in previous survival games yeah. that they've done. So this will carry over all the lot quality of life improvements, which is so important because it shows you what happened to Nightingale that nobody plays that and it sucks and it fumbled its release as compared to Enshrouded and some yeah. of the successful ones. But what were you saying, Joe? Uh, this has got me really hyped for all the cool technology I could use. Yeah. The floating thing, the, I don't know what you call it. The floating Lev thing? Yeah, so you that's what I want to get to. And then, like, you so listen, down. this is like this is one of the opening shots of Dune 2 uh, when they are doing some insurgent activity to attack the Harkonnens. You get this right here. Yes, that. The that's Harkonnens are coming down. In fact, even Gunny has the technology. He uses it. And I really, really, really want to request the developers to put in the sound from the film. It's so cool. I don't know why I love that I sound. It's like... I think I heard... Try, play it. Play it? You yeah. think it's there? I don't think it's there. Let's see. It's no, a little, that's a little, a little wrong. Little that's the wrong sound! Okay. <laughs> that is a sci-fi beep beeping Mass Effect sound. No, the other one is it's like an organic weird clicking, and that's what I need. The so that's gurgling the wrong on your back. You already like, fucked oh. up. You already fucked. No, I'm right. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna be that stickler because I I'm getting something that's this awesome, so this much creative. There's so much. Yeah. So it, I like um I like that it does look like the Denis Villeneuve, but they're not afraid to kind of put in some of their own designs. Tremors. Uh, yeah. Well, technically Tremors. they have to because you know a lot of the technology that they're about to show in and weapons to give it the variety to give it the things that you build to give it the vehicles that we've never seen before in the films you're going to need some of that yeah. stuff well I, and then one thing that Conan did really well is there was a bunch of different styles that you could build and eventually they added tree houses they add in uh, ancient japanese stuff greek stuff i want to be able to build uh, a harkonnen base yeah. or a Hark harkonnen hark har har what, what? Uh, I want to be able it's to. It's Harkonnen. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one. And Fuck I want the be, new film. I want, to be, I want to be able to build like uh, a Fremen siege and like all yeah. of these different things. I want to be able to do Not maybe siege so on the outside like and like. Ooh, interior yeah. designer already. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just like it's like it doesn't look like anything, right? It's just sandstone. Well, I'm just gonna make sandcastles. Siege. How about that? Look, your building, your building is. I have a sandcastle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. so that's like, yeah, are there factions? Can we uh, get style templates? These are things yeah. that maybe we could do in Endgame. This has potential for future updates. But as you can see, it seems like they already have so much. I actually, when I first heard the Dune Survival game, I was like, really? That sounds incredibly boring. I was, I guess I was thinking from Fremen-only style. But even yeah. then, you could kind of try to make it interesting. But the fact that they've expanded and put in vehicles and put in, yes. you know, housing and all these other things, it seems really, really cool. And a lot bigger than I thought. Traditional weapons. Now, we already did a new story. They How they handle in the universe, if you fire a LAS gun at a shield, it will create an atomic blast. They're already handling that. Essentially, any of the LAS guns that are shipped by the CHOM shipping company over here, merchant company over here, is going to have safeties on, which basically when you pull that trigger on your mouse or your controller, assumedly, it will not fire if there's a target with a shield. Can so that's, please have, that's just uh, so that there's not a billion fucking atomic explosions all across the maps at once. It would be great, but only it would for not the be very who fun. Caused it. They also said they they're not they don't have sand walking in right now, and they may do it in the future, but it, they just couldn't make a way where it doesn't look ridiculous. And I said, I don't care if it looks ridiculous. Do I don't it. care if it looks stupid and it's slowing down. Just do it. Clearly, it's optional. Clearly, it's optional. Why? Because we see in this very trailer all their modes of transportation. Mm -hmm. Flight. Now, assumedly, you can use uh, these things, right? They wouldn't just show it if you can't actually use it because later there's the a thorn. I can never get this. Ornithopters? Ornithopter. 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 Stop thinking helicopter. Think more oral B dentistry. Orally birds. A thornicopter. Now, I want to. I'm, I'm curious. Do you guys think we'll be able to pilot this? Or do you think this is like a, a world event or an enemy higher end game I stuff? I don't know, William. Like, that seems a little big, but that'd be cool. Yeah. Look. Yeah. So there's. So clearly parkour scaling like Assassin's Creed. I never even fucking considered 
that in a survival game. That seems really fucking cool. I mean, some survival games have that, but... And then the hunter killers, like, forgot about that. One of these things stab you, you're instantly dead. It's not like your health is going to slowly low. I don't know. Maybe in video game terms, they will have your health slowly drain. Or yeah. just to, because those things, you have to be perfectly still. So here's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things within the Dune universe that makes it real and feel lived in and feel like its own universe that are not set up for game mechanics. The last gun versus the shields. The hunter killers where it's literally, if you're not a trained goddamn mentat slash prophecy one, you're probably going to die to a hunter killer. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to see it. But it looks like this version of the, the hunter seeker range. is a little bit bigger. Because that other one was okay. like really tiny. But they're I supposed will, to be I'm going to miss range. a lot. Yeah. yeah. I will miss. <laughs> Boom. Just really cool. So this kind of, I feel like Harkonnen p potentially. Well, that's a, I don't know. It, it, it really depends. Are they going to go with the H.R. Geiger versions of Harkonnen, which I would love to see. But if this is Harkonnen, we just have confirmation that they're doing their own type of design. Can we please just have uh, that 1980s gun in there? Yes! <laughs> Come Fuck on, yes. we need to get it back. Shaw! <laughs> <laughs> the weirding module that was created by David Lynch's nope, version. 1984, he, he combined the weirding way with a way to make it uh, weaponize the weirding way in a gun. And I want it to... Developers, Funcom, what is it, Funcom, right, the, of Dune Awakening, put it in an update. I know it's ridiculous. I know. Man, well, here's the but thing. But so is the sand they're, walking. They're talking. It was, it's not going to happen because they're talking with legendary studios constantly, getting approvals. They're talking with even Herbert's estate. This is a news story we just did on this week's news. Um, so if they're doing that, they're going to have to ask permission. We would like to but put in, in the weirding module gun, and they're like, from the 1984, and they're like, we don't like to talk about that one. Yeah, right. How we, badass no. would that be? You're just building be... your house, all of a sudden you just hear somebody yelling Chaka! all the way across the battlefield. Ah! <laughs> if you do that, I'm gonna give you a 10 out of 10. I'm a there's no, I will play hundreds this game so much. Hundreds. <laughs> right, I'm I'm done. But clearly, you can fly helicopters with rockets. This is that's crazy. Yeah, this is what, and I never thought a survival game with this this deep. Because look, the world of Dune is known for you know training people's minds. These factions, uh, basically taking humanity and expanding them to their upper potential limit. You have Mentats, which are basically like supercomputers. Uh, they ingest spice and and Creeps. you know. Because AI is banned, you're not supposed to create an, a human artificial intelligence because of the Butlerian Jihad thousands and thousands of years before. That's why it's kind of like a feudal system. That's why there's a lot of swords and things and stuff like that. And I just never expected them to go into the mystical stuff and have like these kinds of powers, like a vision. That sounds so cool. <gasps> And then, like, jetpacks, yes. but these cooler anti-gravity versions of the jetpacks. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. This thing just shot way the fuck up on my top list. And I think I actually left it off of my top games list. I want to hear Alex more. Alex, tell me about the potential of this. Do you think this is, like, going to be, like, late game stuff like Nightingale did? Uh, so the <laughs> the interesting thing, look, if this is more MMO versus, look, so, like, Conan, you can play on a service with a bunch of other yeah. people. It depends on if how, how they're going, like, full MMO. So if it's going to be smaller server size or if they're truly doing that, then I think that they're going to gate off some of it. But, like, you got to the end game stuff pretty quick in, in Conan, Conan before. Now, that being said, one thing that they they love selling you uh, packs. Mm -hmm. Like, they will, they're like, oh, you can design anything you want that, in Sandstone. You can design anything that you want that is base that's already on Arrakis. If you want to use any of the stuff from the other greater houses, $10 an architecture pack. Mm -hmm. And I think some people who aren't used to that are going to be mad. So here he's either destroying it or repairing it. I think it. he's repairing it. That's so cool if you can or get out and repair it. it, salvage it. But look at this. This really tr – I never expected the war feeling of Arrakis. War on Arrakis. Are we being right starfielded right now? Yeah, this is what uh, – look at this. You've got another Purple player, lasers? Fine, purple lasers? This has purple lasers? That's I didn't it. see purple lasers in, in the in, Terminator. In Terminator. So, um, this a lot. is shoot-up number one. Look at like, my list of top games. So I went to 30. Guess what I fucked up? 
guess what number Ooh. 31 was? You didn't have all the information, it, though. Yeah. I didn't have all the information. All the this thing probably shot, let's see, way, way the fuck up. I probably put it like shit, maybe like right here. That's how fucking well. I'm hyped as shit about Dune right now since I just saw the films. But look at this. I mean, Looks we're rolling out as a party. Roll this up. is this can maybe even be an angry army game where we fucking roll out together. Look at this shit. It's there's been a there's while. Joe and his tiny little fucking motorcycle, so we Bone can watch bike. him flip and die. <laughs> uh, I'll be the ornithopter, so I can get the fuck out of here when shit goes down. This can be Alec look like a big tank, and we can bring some other people in. This is this is fucking wild. Yes. And I love that they are making a point to show other people with you. Now, if this is a system where you can get NPCs to kind of join you and you have soldiers, or whether this is players that are playing alongside you, either one. Yeah, I mean, they had a full thrall system showing. before where you'd, you'd ca you could even capture people and, like, force them to be your little sidekicks and stuff. And oh, come maybe in, so. that's what those, maybe those are thralls. And look at this. This kind of reminds me of the carry-alls. Are we going to have carry-alls? Are we going to have spice harvesting? Do you, you rescue your own spice harvesters from worm sign? You search for worm. There's just so many game mechanics. It's fucking genius. And I never really thought, wow, this is blowing my mind, guys. I never really thought that there was, this would be appropriate for a survival game. No. And just this one trailer is showing us, and this is definitely make showing you walk the, that plank. The shit, the city. <laughs> this one I would attribute to like an Atreides design, right? Mm -hmm. This is the Arakeen uh, city. Uh, that's the Arakeen is the capital. It's glide so down. it's like that Super kind of easy. style. But I am curious: can we make a siege? Can we do a gross bath of mud in, in blackness, in black and white, with mm -hmm. Harkonnen? No, Alan Golden. You did it. I did it. I said, said it. it. And then look at this battle here. See, that's this is fake. This is bullshit. I'm, you're about to start another controversy with me here. And this fucking aliens, colonial, marines level bullshit. Are you that stupid? Or is this real? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like I said, this could we could be getting starfielded, where it's like, wow, this looks really cool. And then what you get is nothing but scenes. It turns out these are all just like cutscenes. You don't get to yeah. do anything in. So. Love Where's the cool stuff? This is the potential, they say. Mm. Mm. And then here's the after a battlefield. Listen, I don't expect there to be any story. This kind of implies that there's stories, like after you, you know, it's coming down. But I don't, the, I don't think the there's any story. Make you the make story. your own yeah. story, right? Arrakis. It's like, how dare you be in my territory, my area of the desert? Me and my boys are about to fuck you up with a Chris knife. It's that's strange. not a Chris knife. That's uh, just knife a normal knife. serrated, serrated. <laughs> But I think that's kind of like the design of, I'm a little worried, somebody, a Harkonnen design, that's kind of like the Dune 2 RTS units. I think it's just generic dude that you're going to, so you're going to be like, maybe? that's just going to be some dude you're like, hey, you work in my base now, you're going to work my spice harvester. Mm -hmm. I'm going to force you to be my friend. Yeah. That too. <laughs> One of the first early RTSs was actually a Dune. Uh, believe it or not, so that's just that that's fucking creepy. cool. Yeah, I want that creepiness for Harkonnens, so they gotta have to have uh, a Harkonnen update with a bunch of grossness. Oh, wait. So cool. This is gonna be good. I hope the MMO part I don't like. I mean, but it depends on how they do it, because I, I mean, everyone defines MMO. Well, isn't isn't right? every survival game? And I guess it this this can enhance it. This is maybe the promise of what they're showing right here yeah that's more that could be that more mmo could this be what we were talking about could we have massive player battles i don't know man all right guys tell us what you think tell are us you what excited you for it like are we you are excited for it um does it look good or does it look bad um could it be an aliens colonial marine starfield situation i don't know but that's our impressions highly highly impressed see you guys on the next angry joe show Bye, guys.